Zorba is a mixed material and it's very difficult to achieve the maximum value for the material domestically, until now. At our WEN test facility, we feature all the technologies that are needed in order to take your Zorba and derive maximum value. Today, we're gonna to go through the process of how we go about testing our customers' dirty Zorba. At our test facility and in many of the processes that we create, we start with a Didion drum. We put Zorba in and the Zorba tumbles inside the drum, which helps to liberate a lot of the oxidation, dust, and dirt that accumulates on the material. We then use air to push that light debris backwards and we collect it in our bag house. What that means is we take dirty material like this, remove all of the things that cause dust in the air, and the result is a clean facility with great air quality that's beneficial for your employees as well as the equipment. Like most non-ferrous processes, our test facility begins with a batch feeder. Our batch feeder is able to accommodate multiple super sack quantities. It also allows us to keep materials that may come from different facilities or different locations separate for testing and reporting purposes. With our line, we convey off an eddy curve with two screens which allows us to remove very fine material as well as excessive foam, rubber, and other miscellaneous lights before we go into our density separation. So now that our Zorba has been polished and we've removed our surface contamination at the Didion drum and any light, foam, or plastics with our eddy current, we can now take our majority aluminum string and present it to our Tomra extract. Our Tomra extract is an XRT density separator. The goal with our Tomra extract is to kick out any heavy metals, which include zinc, brass, copper, and circuit boards, as well as any super lights, such as free magnesium and magnesium alloys, alucabon, and thermal break materials. After removing all of these materials, what we're left with is a low mag twitch, which can be further upgraded either across the second pass on an XRT machine or through our Tomra auto sort called Splits Machine. By running our twitch product across another pass on the, our Tomra XRT, we're able to separate high density cast alloys from rock wool mill, thanks in large part to the embedded software in the machine we can do this without the need for additional sensors. It's simply making the cast rod separation across XRT technology doesn't quite meet your needs. Our newest, latest, and greatest technology, the auto sort pulse slits machine by Cobra, allows us to target specific alloys or target specific alloy families or even target market-defined specifications for mixed aluminum bricks. Thanks in part to the industry's most advanced and reliable dynamic laser, we're able to achieve the separations at very high throughputs with exceptional yield and purity. The versatility of our test center, as well as the flexibility of our Palmer suite of products, we have the ability to upgrade your Zorba or other aluminum scrap into high quality, high purity aluminum elements. Myself and the rest of the WEC team would like to personally invite you to come to our test facility to perform a test on your Zorba. We'll run it, allow you to witness the test, we'll gather weights and compile an inclusive report to give you all the information you need to determine what is the actual value of my sorted Zorba. We're able to produce a number of different alloys and reproduce different situations at our test facility. So come, check us out, see what our equipment can do for you, and experience some of that Buffalo hospitality firsthand. Thanks, and I hope to see you soon.